Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sophie. This is Jackpot Comic Talks, and I have a few comic books to show you, but there's also some things I want to talk about. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so the first thing that I want to touch on is um, actually something very fun and very cool. Um, on Monday, the... I don't remember. Uh, next Monday, I will be featured on um, Ricky's channel, All Sorts of Words. Uh, he is doing a this huge project. It's called C4. It's the Comic Collector's... Clash of Champions. There we go. I knew I'd remember. Um, so he's hosting this big tournament where, you know, we all get together, we get to create characters, um, and then we wrestle. So he gives us prompts, and then we show him a comic uh, that we think fits the prompt, and then you guys get to go over to his community page on his channel and vote for who you think the or who you think had the best comic so for example let's say um my prompt was vampire okay i would be like this is dc versus vampires blah blah, blah and i would explain why i chose that one so it'll be a lot of fun. We just filmed the episode I'm gonna be in uh just uh like an hour ago um, it was very fun. I had a great time. Like I said, Ricky from All Sorts of Words will be hosting it. I'll link his channel down below, as well as Travix, Travix, Travis from Comics Limited, um, as he was my opponent for... I apologize if you guys can hear my cats fighting in the background. That's a bit ridiculous. <laughs> um... So uh, he was my opponent for this match. Um, so you guys can catch that next Monday. Um, I'm super excited about it. It was a lot of fun to make. And I really hope this catches on because I think it's a great idea. If you guys can't hear this, my facial expressions are going to be crazy. That's a major... Major fisticuffs are going down. But anyway, it's going to be a great, uh, it's got great exposure for a smaller channels or, you know, just channels who, you know, you haven't discovered yet. You'll get to see them. Um, making the characters is a lot of fun. I am actually MJ Knight. Yes, I'm spoofing LA Knight because he's one of my favorites. Um, so yeah, I guess we wear these very fun glasses um, and wear a leather jacket and do my makeup like this uh so it's a lot of fun um uh and yeah but i figured i would you know tell you guys about it on my channel um just so you guys know so if you're a fan of my channel and you want to see me beat travis uh who is the wizard uh definitely watch out for that video and then go vote for all of my comics <laughs> but all of that being said um, there is some stuff I wanted to talk about before I get to showing you guys, um, some comics that I just recently got, um, and that is I have been, uh, kind of slacking on YouTube recently. I think I've had one video in the last three weeks, um, and I have been very busy recently. <laughs> um, I have a full-time job during the week, uh, seven to three every weekday, Monday through Friday, uh, I'm working and it's a very, um, I don't want to say mentally exhausting job. It just, you have to be very present and you have to be thinking all the time. I do work in the science industry, so it gets kind of, uh, uh complicated sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. So there's that. And then I also have a part-time job on the weekend that I'll have until like April-ish. Um, so I've just been very busy and I, um, my part-time job, I've been working these weird mid-shifts that are like 12 to 4, 12 to 5, 10 to 5, stuff like that. So I feel like I don't really have a weekend, like I'm working every single day of the week. Um, and it's hard to find time to sit and film a video during the week when I'm not feeling tired or just exhausted or like I don't feel like putting effort into it. Plus, I have been trying not to buy as many comics recently. Um, Oh my goodness um okay okay um <laughs> i'm back i had to run my cats off they were being loud um so where was i uh yes i've not been 
buying as many comics lately because I have a lot of serious comic goals this year and I want to be able to save up mom moments, money for bigger keys, bigger books. Um, I really want to work on my Amazing Spider-Man run um, from like 1 to 100. Um, and some of those are hard to get. A lot of them are way more expensive than others. So yeah, it's, it's tough coming up with content. Um, because f since I started it, the bulk of my channel has been hauls where I say, hey, I just got these comics in the mail. Uh, let me show them to you. And that's fine. But I also want this channel to be more about the comics themselves and the characters and the artists and the writers and my opinions on all of that stuff. And I just feel like that kind of got lost because I was trying to figure out how to be a YouTuber and, you know, trying to improve my editing and, you know, making sure I was interacting with people and posting on Instagram and uploading once a week and there for a while twice a week. And I just feel like right now, I need to focus on doing what makes me happy. And if that means for a little while, less videos, so be it. I am, um, I am so happy to be here and to be doing this. Um, and I want to continue to do it for sure. But I just don't want you guys to think that I've pushed this to the back burner and I'm intending on giving it up or not doing it anytime soon because that is not the case. I love this. I love this community and I am psyched to be here. Uh, now, like I said, all that being said, um, it might slow down a little bit to where it's a video every two weeks, but maybe that video is more in depth and it's a conversation, um, as well as diving deeper into the comics. Uh, a video that I just recently posted, it didn't do very well in terms of views and, you know, getting my subscriber count up there and stuff, which I expected because it's very different from the rest of my videos and it's kind of niche, but it was my Umbrella uh, Academy comics video. I loved making that video because even though I was just showing you guys the books that I already have in my collection, I am so passionate about the Umbrella Academy and I love talking about it and I can't wait to make the other videos to go along with that one. So who cares if it didn't do that well, you know, analytically, it was fun to make and I enjoyed it and I don't want to be pushing out content just so that I can keep getting subscribers and you know be like for the last three years I've put out a video every single week and stuff like that because it's just not uh, possible right now. So like I said I'm not ghosting you guys. Um, I just have needed a break um, and I have been extremely busy. Um, but I do uh, I plan on trying really hard to fit in more videos and uh, trying harder to get content out there. Um, and I have been doing some live streams uh, with other people recently on different channels. Like I said, I'm a part of this uh, C4 thing and that's very exciting. I can't wait. Loved making my character. Loved being a part of it. It was very fun. Um, but yeah, I don't want to ramble on too much longer. This is already going to require a lot of editing. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. Um, and yeah, and I just, I don't want this to become a chore for me. I don't want to be thinking every week, oh my god, I have to do a video. What am I going to do? Let me just put something together. I want to be excited. I want to be, I want that same feeling as when I was making that Umbrella Academy comics video. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to discuss that a little bit. Um, next week's video should be pretty exciting, um, as long as I get it edited uh, fast enough and everything. But we are, my family is going to a uh, small comic and toy show. It's going to be in a mall a few towns over. We're very excited for it. I plan on filming a bunch. 
Um, I'm not cosplaying for it um, because they uh, also do like a cosplay contest and stuff. Um, but because it's in a mall, I know I'm going to be shopping other places and I just don't want to have some big elaborate cosplay on. Um, but because my hair kind of already goes with that, I'm going to wear my Spider-Man heart shirt. Um, so that'll be fun. I'm excited. Um, so yeah, look forward to that video. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm hoping to get, you know, my goal is to go in and get like one big book and then also look through like dollar bins, see if I can find something fun and interesting. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I don't know how big it's going to be or what all is going to be there. So it really just depends on, uh, if there's something there that I want, but fingers crossed, I'll be able to get like an amazing Spider-Man key or something. All of that being said, I do have some comics to show off. I know that I said I wasn't going to be buying as much, um, but I did buy this giant stack of comics here. I'm not showing you all of these. Um, these were just some dollar comics that I got. Uh, I have been loving shopping on whatnot uh, for the past few months. Uh, and I bought these from Lost Eden Comics. Uh, you should definitely go follow them. They had some great deals. Um, and I loved uh, buying from them. It was easy and fun. Um, I do know with my whatnot, when I try to search people's names, if I don't type it exactly like their username is, it doesn't come up. So this one is lost underscore Eden Comics. Um, and it, once you type in lost underscore Eden, it should pop up. Um, but I will see if I can link it down below. Um, but yes, the cats again. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, I, they were, they're moving, um, locations, I guess. I think they're in Pennsylvania, I believe is what it said. Um, but they're moving locations. So they're trying to get rid of some of their old inventory to make room for new. So I got like some run filler, um, some cool covers. I got a few like comics just to read. Uh, it, overall it was fun. And I got a, I got $15 comics. But then I also bought a uh, key issue from them, and it's one that I have been wanting for a while. Um, this is The Demon Number 7. It's a series about Etrigan the Demon. And number seven is the first appearance of this character right here, Claren the Witch Boy. And he's a very weird and strange and creepy and interesting character. Um, and I, for some reason, have always just been like you know what, I'd like to have his first appearance. So I did get it um, because of their moving sale. Uh, anything with an orange sticker, any of the keys with an orange sticker um, were half price. So this was originally $30, but I got it for 15, which is a pretty good deal. I was happy to pay that price. It also looks really good. It has a few flaws here and there, um, but in much better condition than I expected it to be. Uh, and yes, I finally got the first appearance of the witch boy. <laughs> so very exciting. And then I also just picked up two uh, co comics. I thought the covers were cool. This is a Secret Wars number two variant. Um, it is the classic um, Mary Jane first appearance panel uh, where she's in the doorway and Spider-Man's looking surprised, except for she's in her wedding dress and Peter's in the Spider-Man suit. I just thought it was super cool. It looks amazing. And I have seen it once before. I had seen it once before and did not buy it. So when I saw this one and could not find another copy, uh, I went ahead and got it. Uh, and I'm very happy that I did. And then last, but certainly not least, I did buy a J. Scott Campbell variant that I have been wanting. It's been on my list for quite a while now. 